The Green Roads Rating System is a sustainability rating system for roadway design and construction. Uh, it's basically a collection of sustainability best practices. Right now there's 48 of them, uh, 11 are required, and the rest are what are, we call voluntary credits. So the project can choose to pursue them or not, and those that they achieve, we total up those points and we assign a score to the project, and the project can be certified if it achieves all project requirements and a minimum certification score. Because the LEED program doesn't really um, focus on pavements, and transportation corridors and such from a sustainability perspective, these other types of programs have developed. So the Green Roads program originally came out of University of Washington and CH2M Hill. And what that does is it basically identifies sustainable or good or, or best practices, green practices in the road construction and uh, road construction industry and awards these practices certain levels of points. Well, a contractor that has a project certified as a green road, I, I think, you know, the benefit is to actually communicate the idea that uh, you do sustainability in a meaningful way. And that communication, I think, is pretty important. And we're seeing uh, more owners and projects requiring sustainability features, whether it's in a design build, where it's overtly scored, or whether it's in what they want uh, in their design and specifications. So if you can come to the table as a contractor, and say I know how to do these things and you can actually show that you participated in other Green Roads projects, you know, that may put you ahead of your competition. It will also benefit the contractor in that they'll probably be able to produce mixes more efficiently, they'll get the product out more efficiently, and certainly um, in a sustainable manner and in, in a less environmentally damaging manner. As far, you know, for example, this, the Green Roads rating system, I believe, I know some of the other ones do, they have uh, requirements for uh, tier three and tier four equipment. So these large kind of earth moving equipment, as you, as you ramp up in, in the control technologies on the equipment, you're gonna get more credits in the system and therefore there's gonna be less environmental emissions associated with it. A project can become Green Roads certified through the Green Roads website, greenroads.us. You will submit general information about the project, like owner and size. The Green Roads team then reviews the applications to decide which ones to take on for Green Roads certification. There are a number of projects that have applied the Green Roads rating system. Over the year 2010 and before, we were uh, applying an aggressive pilot project program. We had about 20 to 25 of those, depending upon how you count them. Uh, and so there were a number of those that were applying Green Roads. Uh, if I want to talk about some specifics, we had a uh, really good experience with a project with the Oregon Department of Transportation uh, south of Bend, Oregon on US 97. Well, we've also worked with the City of Bellingham for a pilot project, the City of Seattle for a pilot project. Um, Federal Lands Highway Division, they do roads for national parks, national forests, um, fish and wildlife, Bureau of Indian Affairs, we have a number of pilot projects with them as well. The Green Roads Rating System aims to benefit communities and the environment by recognizing and promoting sustainable roadway projects. But there's a financial benefit to be realized by project builders and owners as well. I really think it's important to understand that a green road costs less to the designer and there is money to be made by the contractor. And to me, that's a win-win type situation. So when you're talking about uh, solutions that might stick and work long term, if the owner can save money, and the builder can make money, that's something that's going to be done. And that's where we want sustainability to be. We want it to be a win-win. We want people to save and make money. And I think it's possible.